Nobody is going to fancy facing Liverpool's Fab Four in the Champions League knockout draw on Monday. Nobody is going to relish a date with Manchester City, despite their 227-day unbeaten run coming to an end in a dead rubber with Shakhtar Donetsk. And nobody is going to write off Manchester United while Jose Marino is conducting the orchestra. With five clubs in the last 16, English football will never have a better chance to reclaim the European Cup. And I'm not discounting Chelsea or Tottenham, either. On a huge weekend of derby days in the Premier League, especially on Merseyside and in Manchester, the firepower on display should be like those superpowers parading their military might. I love watching Liverpool's front four, Roberto Firmino, Mohamed Salah, Philippe Cotino and Sadio Mane, and you have to make them favourites against Sam Allardyce's Everton at Anfield. In Big Sam's world, the clean sheet is king. But Liverpool have not lost a Merseyside derby in 14 games and I can't see Everton's defence keeping Jurgen Klopp's attacking Arsenal at bay. Klopp has assembled an exciting front line to rival anything the Cop has seen in 30 years. From John Barnes, John Aldridge and Ray Houghton in the 1980s to Robbie Fowler, Michael Owen and Emil Heskey winning three cups in 2001, or Brendan Rodgers' holy trinity of Luis Ez, Daniel Sturridge and Raheem Sterling three years ago, the current forward line can take your breath away as much as any of their predecessors. The sheer speed of their counter-attacks at Brighton last weekend, and the seven-goal demolition of Spartak Moscow in Europe, was Klopp flexing his muscles. It is no accident that only Paris Saint-Germain scored more goals in the Champions League group stage. Liverpool have one of the most potent attacks in Europe. Between them, Firmino, Dino, Salah and Main have scored 25 goals and shared 14 assists in the Premier League alone this season. They are like a group of mates down the park who score goals for fun. If you take Sergio Aguero, Leroy Sane, David Silva and Sterling as Manchester City's equivalent Fab Four, they have sprayed 26 goals and 19 assists across the canvas. And United's Romelu Lukaku, Marcus Rashford, Anthony Marshall and Jesse Lingard, 20 goals and 14 assists, are not bad, either. As I wrote in this column a couple of weeks ago, City look unstoppable in the title race. Even when it's 1-1 with 5 minutes to go, you know they are going to conjure up a winner, as they did against Bournemouth, Huddersfield, Southampton and yet again last Sunday against West Ham. You can feel their confidence and energy. Everyone wants the ball and there is an inevitability about them finding a way to win games. I'm not sure you can say the same about United yet although their 35 points would have been enough to lead the Premier League after 15 games every season since Arsenal's Invincibles of 2003-04. By no means can United's contribution to the current campaign be branded more boring than Liverpool or City. After all, they have scored four goals on eight occasions already. But Marino is prepared to win points by being cautious where necessary and I don't see United being gung-ho and all guns blazing in the derby at Old Trafford. I expect them to sit back and place a heavy emphasis on set pieces in the final third. Paul Pogba's red card at Arsenal last weekend was a major blow, because there is gathering evidence that he makes United tick, but if Mawan Fellaini comes into the side he could still be a key influence. City are not the tallest side and they will discount Fellaini's aerial threat at their peril. United came through a big test at the Emirates with flying colours and I can see them thwarting City again after keeping two clean sheets, one in the EFL Cup, one in the Premier League, last season. Mine would be Aguero, City, up top, Main, Liverpool, to the left, Sterling, City, to the right and Cotino. Liverpool, in the middle at number 10. 
Tweet me at Robbie Savage 8 if you can come up with a more lethal Fab Four from Manchester and Merseyside.